let's learn about the PMT function. So suppose we have the principal here, you have the interest, you have number of years there. So suppose you have a loan of $1 million or 1 million shillings at an interest rate of 12%, payment is five years. So if you are paying this monthly, then the number of periods will be is equals to five times 12. Now the monthly payment for this loan will be calculated by or monthly installment will be well created using the PMT function, which is equals to PMT. Then we need the rate, which is calculated monthly. So we'll say 12% divided by 12. Number of periods is 60. Present value is the loan amount. Future value is zero. Then you click OK. Now this will be the monthly payment to that loan. Converting this to a number, it means the principal plus interest will be given by number of periods times number of installments then press enter so you'll pay uh 334,666 so next is um i want to create the loan amortization which will be here now the loan amount the interest for that loan for that period then the ending balance which is loan plus interest let me edit this so the loan amount will be equals to this one million the interest will be calculated using the ipmt ipmt function which is the rates per month divided by 12 then per is one month number of periods is 60 then i lock that down um just to be sure the loan is uh, that is that it is the rate so i need to lock this then the present value is the current loan amount then i'm not going to lock that so i can put the visual value as zero so we have that as ten thousand as the loan interest. so the balance will be one million minus ten thousand that will be the ending balance after applying this 12 percent interest the next step is now to pay the loan so the monthly payment for this loan monthly payment will be equals to this 22,445 and I love that one once you make that payment the loan balance will be equals to the loan interest loan plus interest less the monthly payment the loan balance on column J become becomes the be the beginning balance for the next period. So I'll take that and type equal sign to 987.75 as the beginning balance. I'll calculate the loan interest for this. So pull this down. But because we are doing for uh, 60 months, I'm going to put here a number that will come for us at least up to 60 months. So I can drag that down up to 60, and you can see. For 60 months like that then now copy this down so i play the loan amount i play the loan interest the loan interest a loan plus interest and then loan repayment per month which is a constant value and then the loan balance now you can see at 60 months our loan balance is zero and that is how you can calculate loan amortization with reducing balance